Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the penultimate mission of Wings of Mengsk. We are going to check out what it's like to sabotage these tunnels, and hopefully it is something different than normal, because uh, I <laughs> I don't want to do all in today because I have a headache and I'm a little bit tired. And I really want to give the final mission the respect it deserves, you know? I don't want to I don't want to half-heartedly jump into all-in nightmare difficulty Wings of Mengsk, because... That's like, it's the capstone, right? We gotta, we gotta do our best for that. What I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is that this mission is different. The, uh, the, the thing that would win my heart is if they just like threw the Xanthos in the caves or something, something ridiculous over the top. What do we got? Okay. You know what? This is actually fairly reasonable. We have an Aegis Guard. We have a Prometheus, a son of Korhal and a field response team Theta. All right. Let's introduce these boys to a little Terran ingenuity. Interesting. We don't actually have any activated abilities here, so it's just going to be about having... What is going on there? Is someone afraid? Oh, it's the disarming effect from the Aegis Guard. That's very cool. I wonder if that works on Kerrigan. Oh, massive units are... Well, it's Kerrigan, not your mom. Oh, <laughs> see, I did it. Uh, it'll probably work on it. It'll be great. <laughs> I like a... <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, what do I do? I don't have a gun. No! One thing very interesting about this is I guess we are able to actually lose these characters. Right? Like, if something went terribly wrong, it wouldn't end the game if they died. So we should be really careful because I will... I will promise right now that if I do lose one, I will keep going. Just because that makes things a little bit more exciting. But that means that it's up to me to micro well and not to, uh, not to be sad. It's all about that positioning. So I guess one, we do technically have a pseudo active ability in that we can be microing the Aegis Guard to make sure that he is disarming the correct targets. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell us how long that that disarm lasts for, but it is pretty nice. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> we really gotta get some upgraded stuff, yeah. Okay, this is interesting. The lack of being able to instantly melt through all of these things means that these enemies are way harder at this stage in the game. Though I do have a feeling that as time goes on, it's gonna be, it's gonna be better and better. Wait. Is that a Stetman out of energy quote that I've like never heard? Because it's impossible for him to run out of energy normally? That's amazing. Game, that's, like, congratulations Wings Liberty team for that one. That's beautiful. I can't believe I just didn't know that existed. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Ooh, we really don't have any medic energy here. Um, this is concerning. We're going to be able to get the armor boost very soon. The Aegis Guard is going to get Fortified Barrier, so I think that he's going to have to be up in the front as well. And we're going to have to have, like, a tandem tag team melee barrier thing going on here. Yeah, there we go. We want to be friends. We want to have two guys in the front at the same time. In fact, the Aegis Guard may actually be the better tank a lot of the time because he has that refreshing shield. And I said that I'm going to be fast, but there's that Zerg Chaser Force we have to be careful about. We have 116 until they, uh, they come a-chasing. And we gotta be, they're, they're pretty rough, though they are XP. Yeah, we'll help you out. I mean, as I said, there's a Zerg Chaser Force, but like, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Okay, try to take these down. I think that what we're gonna have to do is build a defensive formation to deal with the Chaser Force and just engage it on our terms. Well, usually what you wanna do is you don't want it to hit you in the normal version. Like, uh, the way that it works is the timer happens and 
then it comes down the route, and you would prefer to not have to fight it at all. You just fi you finish the explodey part, not just getting to it, but the explodey part by like 10 seconds from now. But we are so much slower due to our lack of burst damage that we're gonna have to we're gonna have to fight this instead. That is a very powerful force. Let's try to get into position. We're gonna put you here, you here. I think this is the best we can do here. I'm scared. You should be scared. We've got a hundred tons of Zerg incoming. Alright, this is actually good. They're splitting up. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in this Looking front here, but we got our shield up. We have a decent amount of energy here. We're actually going to hit level two. This is a completely different mission with the way that it's playing out right now. This is cool. Who's resisting us today? Go on. Okay, we're going to try to disarm the aberrations. Okay. This disarm is so important. Okay. Now another chaser force is coming. We're going to try to get a move on, uh, deal with some of these things, but it looks like the chaser forces are infinite. And my energy reserves, not so much. So let's try our best here. Deal with these. Are we going to get to level two? I don't think so. It would be nice. So we're going to get all the way to the Nidus part, and then we're going to... Yeah, we're just going to deal with this right now. We have a decent amount of AoE damage with the Fire Bat at this point. Then we're going to try to use this choke point. Level 3 on this guy is great. Level 2 on these is fantastic. Uh, sure. I mean, if they want to chase through me over there... That's, uh, <laughs> that's their problem. Uh, they'll probably, they'll probably get it together later. Okay. Now, what's going to happen when we hit this? Is this chaser force going to figure out to come and attack us as we're dealing with everything else? We are very powerful at this point. But what we have to do is we have to make sure that we are targeting down these Nidus Worms because we don't actually have the ability to blast them in a single hit like you normally do. However, we have the Aegis Guard who's real strong at this point. So he's going to be the specific targeter of it. And everyone else is going to try to just hold the fort. Okay, this is working. I think... I don't want to say, I don't want to declare victory too quick. It's always embarrassing when you do that, but, uh, I'm about ready to say mission accomplished. Because this is, yup, that's another level three. Is, <laughs> the Aegis Guard is so good. He's just the destroyer of worlds at this point. Oh gosh, they're, they are popping up faster than we can take them down, though. We gotta be careful about the charge, that's the thing, is it might not be a big issue for our troops, but if the charge dies, we dies. Two and a half. I love that it wants us to drop our flame and Betty that we just don't have. It's like, I would try, I would do it for you if I could. 30 seconds, target that, uh, aberration right here, uh, but don't care. These last bits of XP are very slow, but that's all right. And I think that we won't have to deal with the Chaser Force from now on. I wonder if we're going to get any more guys to level up and if the enemies are going to scale off of that, right? Like, there's no way that this is just set up that you get level 3 really, really quickly on everybody. And then we don't get uh, a challenge to follow that up. We have seven minutes to deal with everything before the Chaser Force hits us. I'm going to try to get as far as I can before that. As long as we're inside of the tunnels, I think we're going to be fine. But I do feel at this point like we are stronger than the base campaign faction, as opposed to early when we weren't. 
Yeah, like... Actually, this is about the same speed. <laughs> they do so much AoE damage normally. Okay, we don't have penetrating shot. But we do have this beautiful shotgun effect. And that is level 3 on everybody. Now he's firing really quick. What does he get at level 3? Advanced impact, yeah. So he's going to be healing himself, which is nice. We're going to be able to take it down. And another one. I actually think the strongest thing we have going on right now is this disarm. Also, the damage clamp is amazing against these Banes. What do we got over here? Just a couple troopers. Nothing too special, unfortunately. But this is, uh, this is a blitz. Okay, we got these guys, and we're going to keep going. I love how fast the Prometheus is in... <laughs> He's level three He's so quick. That cavern ahead is full of worms, so we better be careful. Okay. Worms. <laughs> right. So you do the targeting. Move up by twos. We gotta blast them back. I don't think we need to go by twos. Go. Go. We gotta keep moving or they'll crush us. One thing that's like awkwardly nice on this uh version of the mission is that we don't have that random medic that steals heals. Because usually this part can, it's like really easy to lose a hero because you have a medic that you rescued. And the medic is way worse than Stepman, but they can't both heal the target at the same time. So if the medic starts healing something that's taking a lot of damage, they're like guaranteed to die, ironically. But we don't have that here because we just have the field response Theta and she has a lot of range and she provides that barrier to people. And that is such a crazy combo for what we're facing here. I wonder if the queen fight's going to be interesting. The infested thinks so. That's great. I'm looking forward to it then. I hope he didn't hype it up for nothing. Get him. Oh, he's so good at just running into banelings. Oh, man. What a legend. We need, like... <laughs> we really do need the Xanthos in here. Something that can soak up the XP. What would be the funniest? I mean, Nova would be the one that makes the most sense if you had a super-powered hero, but... <laughs> The Balius would be pretty funny, too, because it could just lift off and travel across the cliffs. It's supposed to be a tunnel, so it would be lore inaccurate, as opposed to the rest of this mod, which is very accurate. So we wouldn't want to have that level of discrepancy. But I just love the the challenge. The first time we used the Xanthos, we had that big challenge. We gotta use the Xanthos on the final mission, by the way. We've only really used it, like, once. But uh, the first time, we had so many issues getting it up and down ramps. <laughs> And I can only imagine how it'd be like parallel parking constantly trying to get through this mission. It'd be so funny. I mean, probably for the first five minutes, and then it'd be awful. But I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure as a viewing experience, it'd be more fun. Ooh, we gotta be careful. She cannot heal herself. Who heals the healer? Oh, cutscenes do. All right, we're gonna try not to lose these guys. We're gonna try to blitz the final boss down really fast. But I think we have enough area damage here that we don't need to risk these and don't need to stress our healer. Yeah, the range here is very nice. Usually the people in this mission have very, very short range, but the Aegis Guard is sitting at six and that's, it's Six is a lot of range on this mission because everything's zoomed in, you know? Don't fungal, mate. Yeah, thank you. So now we're going to get a DPS comparison as we fight the Omegalisk. Usually the Omegalisk uh, 
has the ability to knock through these rocks at exactly the time that he dies. So we'll see how that goes, uh, assuming that you take down the eggs and stuff. Oh, we got significantly more DPS. Thanks, man. I thought we were goners. Turns out that level 3 Aegis Guard is pretty insane. Everybody knows this. It is the best anti-ground Manx unit. It's got, I think, the highest anti-ground DPS in the game. Of, like, non-heroes. I mean, it's, uh... I guess it is heroic in this mod, but... Wow, okay, um... What's happening? Where's the enemy going? Wish we could build a supply bunker. She's going for more eggs. Stop the queen before she gets to him. There she goes. Then she has to heal up again. She's gonna come over here. She's gonna get her eggs. Balance breakfast. And then we wanna put you like here and maybe you right here just so wherever she pops up she doesn't attack okay. these guys yeah then we just burn her down the we gotta stop oh wow that charge almost died <laughs> that would have been really bad okay let's try to get everybody out of here run 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 Oh, yeah, good idea, Jim. You're brilliant. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. These hero missions are pretty fun to play. I like them. We just got a... Oh, there's no chaser force here. That's nice. It is funny how the first bit is so much harder than playing normal Belly of the Beast. Part 2 and Part 3, absolute annihilation stomps. It goes from... Uh, from challenge to power fantasy mid-mission. But I guess that's uh kind of how, kind of how it goes when you've got veterancy. All right, we're gonna we're gonna run this guy into the banelings. Why are we doing? Oh, well, I thought there were banelings here. We're gonna run this guy into the banelings. There's no banelings. Oh, the banelings were back there the whole time. <laughs> I knew there were bailings somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Let them die right at the end. <laughs> oh, I feel like a fool right there. We did so well at keeping most of our people alive until the very end. So, uh, Rainer was the Marine, right? And then Tychus was... Was he the Marauder, or was he the Firebat? I think he was the Marauder. Maybe. Oh, someone's going to have to tell me. Uh, someone in chat. Was, who was the Marauder, and who was the Firebat here? Because one of... I feel like the Firebat's the one that got 514 kills. So Tychus must have been the Firebat. And Swan was a Marauder, because he looks like a Marauder most of the time anyway. That makes sense. Either way... Ooh. <laughs> Firebat, good. This is the mission for him. All right, my friends, thank you for watching. This is going to be the mission before the end. We're heading to All In next. There's nothing else we can do. We are going to slay, and it's going to be Cray. <laughs> thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.